Welcome to The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. Hi, welcome to The Laboratory video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. My name is Akash and I'll be talking to you about Edward the pizza ordering bot that makes it very easy to order food over a quick chat. Edward is a chat bot that's built on Microsoft Bot Framework and Lewis Natural Language Processing Engine. In this video, I will introduce you to Edward and talk about its capabilities. We will see how Edward is built and what are the components that help Edward operate seamlessly. We shall go over the detailed architecture of Edward, followed by a list of supported channels and a quick demonstration. In this juncture of revolutionizing every single process with AI capabilities, we see that the process of ordering food has still not been picked up for enhancements. We come across a lot of pizzeria who provide the service to order pizzas either over a phone call or an online order using their web application, or just the traditional walk-in order. Although these options are good, customers will have the best experience with a walk-in order just because there's a conversation involved. We have enhanced this process and built a chatbot that still does the job of ordering pizzas, but with a textual conversation. Edward is a chatbot that can help users purchase food over a quick chat. It aims to provide a simple conversation-based interface that the users can take advantage of and order food easily. Plus, the representatives at the Piz area do not have to change their flow of operation just because they would still receive orders as an online transaction. Without much ado, let's see what Edward can do. A user can have a look at the menu, add products to the cart, view the cart, and check out. They either can choose to pick up their order or get it delivered. All this by just chatting with Edward. Let me show you an example. Have a look at this. When a user says, I want to order a pizza, Edward responds with a list of pizzas to choose from. If the user selects a pizza, Edward will confirm the size of that pizza and place the order. Simple, isn't it? Now let's understand how Edward is able to do all this. When a user wants to make a request to Edward, they have to choose a channel first. A channel in this context is the mode of communication between the user and the bot. Edward is capable of offering its services over a wide range of channels, namely Slack, Skype, Facebook Messenger, and many more. Once the user decides the channel and makes a request, the message is first sent to the Microsoft Bot Framework, which behaves as a message broker. It is also responsible of authentication and message passing. After ensuring that the message came from an authenticated user, the connector then passes the message to the bot that is hosted on the Azure cloud as an app service. A bot is a RESTful web service that can be hosted on any supported web service hosting platform that has a public URL with SSL enabled. Ideally, the Microsoft Bot Framework requires an HTTPS URL. Once the bot receives the message, it sends the message to Lewis, an NLP engine, which is a part of Microsoft's cognitive services, that processes the English message and resolves it into an intent and entities. An intent is the intention behind the message, and entities are the data items passed in the message. For example, a message, I want to order a chicken pizza would be resolved into an intent as place order and entity as chicken pizza. Once the bot gets the resolved intent and entities, it now understands the user's query and processes it by connecting to a data store. In this case, it's a document DB instance in the Azure cloud. 
Once the bot finishes the processing, it creates a response and then passes it back as a reply to the connector and that connector forwards it to the user over the channel. All the mentioned actions are orchestrated in sync and occur almost instantly. Hence, the user feels as if he's being catered by an actual person. Among all the supported channels, we have chosen Facebook Messenger to showcase Edward, just because it is the most popular daily use channel without any doubt, and it would be a best choice for ordering pizzas. Now let's see Edward in action. So this is Edward that's running on Facebook. Let me start the conversation with hello. Then Edward responds back. I'll say, I want to order a pizza. So the very first time I ask it to order a pizza, Edward asks me back my name. I'll say Akash. I'll give a phone number. Great, it also confirms whether my name and phone number are, co are correct. Great, so now Edward prompts me to add a pizza or a side dish or maybe see a full menu. I'll go with the pizza. So it shows me a list of vegetarian and non-vegetarian pizzas. The first row is the vegetarian pizza and the second row is the non-vegetarian pizza. Let me add a chicken supreme. So now I get to select the size. I'll go for a medium one. Great, it's been added to my cart. Now if I want to see my cart, Great, it shows me my card and the total. If I click on this, it'll show, show me a detailed receipt of the entire order. Let me add some more items. I can either go back and click this button or I can say add more items. So now I get a full menu. I would Add a pasta or a bite here. Okay, let me see my card. See, now there are two items. I can scroll back and continue to add a drink. Yeah, now I get to select the size for a drink. I'll go for a large one. So now I can see my card and it should show up three items. The another item that is the drink is inside the receipt. So there's just room for just two items to be displayed. If you just click, click on the receipt, you will get the entire receipt. So my f the total on the order is $18.90. Let me, either I can click on checkout or I can type checkout. So now Edward asks me whether to go for a delivery or a pickup. So I'll say delivery. So I can enter my address. Great, the order has been processed. Thank you. Thank you for watching the laboratory a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. For more on innovation, please visit miraclesoft.com slash dlabs.